Now, uh, I just would like to react to the statement of uh, Senator Gordon regarding the case of uh, General Albayalde. I just would like to inform the good uh, Senator from Olungapo that uh, the case of General Albayalde ay ginawa po ng lahat ng uh, CIDG yung kanilang uh, trabaho at sana uh, wag po niya sabihin na mista niya yung uh, uh, director ng CIDG. Hindi po mista ni General Albayalde yun at uh, si General Pero po ay gumawa ng lahat ng paraan para mapin daw si General Albayalde at after nung uh, uh, dinismiss ng court yung kaso against uh, General Albayalde nagmotion pa si General Pero for reconsideration para para ipait pa yung kaso but uh, uh, to no avail uh, dinismiss talaga ng uh, korte yung uh, kaso so sana huwag, huwag natin gawing weeping boy yung PNP particularly sa DJ kung uh, dinismiss ang kaso kasi sige natin yung korte bakit uh, dinismiss yung kaso hindi po yung uh, nag-file ng kaso uh, in fairness naman doon sa nag-file ng kaso Mr. President Baka kasi magiging kuha niya eh. Magiging uh, hindi maganda tingnan na parang mga niluluto ng CIDG yung kaso when in fact uh, uh, sa totoo lang ay uh, talagang uh, ginawa ng lahat ng uh, CIDG yung kanilang papel para mapahil yung kaso. So with all due respect Mr. President, dumaan po sa proseso yung kaso at uh, dinismiss ng korte. So sana huwag po, na, huwag po natin sisihin yung uh, PNP sa CIDG Mr. President. Yun lang po Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you. Senator, uh, yeah, Majority Leader. Very quick reply, Mr. President, to my good friend, uh, the shining uh, head of the PNP, Mr. President, always ready Senator. to defend the PNP. Go ahead, uh, Senator Gordon. If I may, Mr. President, with all due respect to my good friend, General Dorak de la Rosa, let me just point out, Mr. President, that according to the decision, ito po nakalagay, the Ombudsman said that aside from the filing of the complaint being, and I quote, tainted with procedural lapses, the evidence presented by the CIDG also, quote, failed to establish criminal liability on the part of Albayaldi, Albayaldi and his correspondent, Corporal Anthony Laksamana. Ito po, uh, ito nakalagay, the graph case is stemmed from the alleged failure of Albayaldi to account for the drug seized from suspected drug lord Johnson Lee in Pampanga in November 2013. At ang lumalabas ka, ayan, kasama yung malaking racket siya sa Pampanga, hindi talaga nakahuli. Andiyan pa ho ang ating kasama ng kapulisan na si Colonel uh, Baloyo na nakiusap na ilipat from Montinlupa, nilagay po natin sa Angeles City Police Department o San Fernando Police Department na nakiusap yung nanay. Pero sa totoo lang po, ito sinabi ng korte, ito pa o, oh, ang sabi, failure to inform the accused of the nature of the accusation against him. That's a fatal defect, Mr. President. When I first was a young lawyer, may nahuli na magnanakaw talaga ng mga istiria ng kotse. Nung kinausap po po yung polis na nanghuli, sabi niya, alam na alam niya ang rights of the accused. Kababago lang po ng bago decision doon na hindi ko na matandaan yung unang uh, decided case dyan sa uh, uh, sa, uh, sa Arizona eh, yung uh, leading case dyan nung araw I, I just uh, it just escapes my memory right now but uh, Miranda Rice at dito uh, Filipino case nung araw na leading pagkatapos ng Miranda Rice I can tell you in a minute ang sabi ko sa police sinabi mo ba alam mo ba yung rights of the accused sabi niya Opo, can you can you tell me the rights of the accused eh nakataranta-taranta na dismiss ko kagad yung kaso now, my good friend General De La Rosa should talk to his fellow PMA by the name of the current mayor of Baguio because I called him. Because I remember uh, the mayor of Baguio, General Magano, who used to be CIDG, he made a statement, hindi po ako, General De La Rosa, my good friend, hindi ako nagsabi niyan. When DK filed the case, we can call him here if you like. I can call him on the phone and he said, Nako, how shall yung kasong yan? Hindi magpo-prosper. Ang sabi niya sa akin, ang nag-appoint ng investigador sa CIDG ay si General Albayalde. So, nabalabas, nagkaroon ng duda ang tao, kaya na-dismiss yung kaso ni Albayalde. I do not go after personalities, Mr. President. But when we have the institution, it is the duty of General De La Rosa and every senator here to protect the institution of the PNP from being maligned by 
some of them who are in uniform. And you know, you saw Mr. Nuesca, tumagal pa yan. Binaril yung tao kung di pa nakuna ng TV. Siya ang sumisira sa PNP. There are 7,000 cases, border cases, from 2010 to 2016 to the present. Riding in tandem, Mr. President. Ito na naman, apat na naman na riding in tandem, pinatay yung mayor ng Basilan. Paano lalaban ang mga mayor na matitino kung papatayin sila at hindi naman masosolve, Mr. President? To be precise, 7,123 cases and already walang uh, halos nasosolve. So, yan, prepared tayong sumagot. Hindi naman lahat perfect. At I'll tell you, hindi naman lahat ng polis ay masama. I have already recognized policemen and soldiers now who do their duty. I can even show you pictures of me saluting the captain in Marawi uh, uh, who was wounded uh, and uh, uh, I saluted him in uh, Captain Fabian, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, uh, for fighting and being severely wounded. You know, there are good people. There are good PNP and bad PNP. But if there is something wrong, I know that you uh, succeeded, uh, I'm not, uh, he succeeded you, Mr. Albayalde, but you know, hindi maganda yung napakita niya na pitong PMA year na general ang siyang nag-complain laban sa kanya nung iniimbisiga sila ng Blue Ribbon. Paano naman ang gagawin ng iyong chairman ng Blue Ribbon? Tatahimik na lang po ba ako? Is that what the general, gentleman from Davao, says? I think he's general from Mindanao. I'm general from Luzon. We are senator. I'm, I'm senator from Luzon. I'm senator from the Philippines. We represent the Filipino people. I do not represent Olongo Polo. And the gentleman doesn't represent the PNP too. He does, it's not the PNP. We represent the Filipino people. We took an oath before them. We are elected by the nation. And that is why I caution uh, the good general. But dapat, sure, I commend his loyalty to his... Uh, fellow PMA, I'm also a classmate, class 72, adopted ako. And I tell them kung nakikita kong mali, at kung nakikita kong tama, and uh, I always commend them. Sometimes they write marvelous pieces about our classmates na from from the poor ranks, uh, you know, pinaaral yung mga kapatid, nag-aaral sa PMA, lumipat ang universidad para makapunta sa PMA. And that is why I salute many members of the PMA, including yourself. Imagine you are now a senator of the country. Senator Laxon is a senator of the country. And that is why we have to let go sometimes of the ties that bind for principle's sake. I will apologize to you if I made anything, statement that was not true. And the facts speak for themselves. If you like, I can call General uh, the, uh, the Mayor of Baguio, Magalo, and he will tell you himself that it was how shall. And he issued a statement pa. So, General Bato, uh, my dear friend from Davao, I was not the one who precipitated it. It was General Magalong, Mr. President. And there you go. You can see our respect in open session of joint houses, me saluting Kent Pagyan, the 29-year-old commanding officer, one of the units of all the soldiers fighting in the armed conflict in Marawi. And Mr. President, you will recall that some of the NBI people were killed also by policemen from Sulu. So not all of us are angels, not all of us are demons, Mr. President. Thank you very much. And uh, I still maintain a snappy salute uh, to the former PNP head, General Del Bato de la Rosa. Thank you very much. General right. de la Rosa, good. Yes, Mr. President, uh, thank you. Uh, I just would like to, uh, to react to the statement of the, the good gentleman from Ulongabo that uh, if he has observed uh, during the whole course of the investigation, the Senate investigation regarding Albayaldi case, I was present all the time, but I did not say as any a single word, single word. Dahil alam ko, may ground talaga yung investigation na ginagawa ni Senator Gordon. So hindi po ako nagpakita ng kahit anong depensa, kahit mista ko si General Albayaldi. Mr. President, tahimik pa ako, wala kong sinasabi. Pero ngayon, na dumaan na yan sa, sa proseso, sa korte, yung, uh, yung kaso na yan, uh, ang request ko lang po sana ay uh, huwag natin gawing whipping boy yung uh, 
nag-file lang kaso, dahil hindi naman sila nag-dismiss ng kaso, yung uh, korte naman, dumaan naman yan sa korte. So, uh, and to add, uh, Mr. President, alam, na, alam naman natin na ang basis ng CIDG sa pag-file ng kaso against uh, Albayalde was uh, the results of the uh, Blue Ribbon Committee uh, hearing na ginarap natin. So, ibig sabihin, kung uh, may problema doon sa pinailang sa ITJ, ang root cause doon is yung Senate investigation natin. So, doon din siguro nakikita na may pagkukulang yung investigation natin ng uh, Blue Ribbon Committee. Dahil uh, may chain reaction niya, Mr. President. So, yun lang po. Gusto ko lang po ipaklaro na the PNP sa IDJ, in all fairness, ay they did their best pagpahil ng kaso. So, huwag naman sana, na, na, naawa rin ako sa PNP, Mr. President, na uh, sila na lang palagi ang uh, sinisisi. Uh, hindi naman sila ang uh, korte na nagde-decide sa kaso kung bakit na-dismiss. At saka hindi po umista ni Albayalde si General Pero. At uh, talagang uh, totohanan yung pagpahil ng kaso, Mr. President. Yun lang, Mr. President. Thank you. Uh, to the good GTP from Mulunga po, uh, wala po akong, uh, I, have some, I have nothing against you, sir. Uh, gusto ko lang magpaliwanag uh, about sa CIDJ. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, just final word. I don't want to go on a back-to-back -back with a fellow senator here. I just want to say that it's General Bayalde has, been, 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 has become the object of the conversation because I heard it from the Senate President himself na kunyari pa na press release, magpapahil ang kaso, designed to fail. I did not use those words, but that was the import of the suggestion of the Senate President when he gave that statement earlier in his privileged speech. Nangyayari yan. Nagmamuro-muro kaso yung iba para makalusot. And Mr. President, may nangyari naman doon sa investigation natin, Mr. President. Hindi po ba? Uh, nakakulong si uh, si Baloy. Ah, uh, ha? Si, General, si Colonel Baloy, nakulong. Uh, at uh, hindi naman porque ay ibig sabihin nyo, wala nangyari doon sa mga testimonyo ng mga sundalo na sila, yung mga general na humarap sa ating committee, uh, including the mayor of a uh, part. Hindi naman ako nagsabi. PMA graduate rin yung nagsabi sa so, Mr. President. Malinaw lang. Uh, ang tawag dyan is free speech in a democratic system of government. Not me. Do not blame me. I did not use the word whipping boy. It was the gentleman from Dabao who used the phrase whipping boy. And it was the court that said, mahina yung kasong tinayal, filled with procedural errors and a technicality called not informing, which is basic uh, training for any PNP to inform properly the rights of the accused. So, Mr. President, I rest my case uh, with a friendship to my a uh, friend from uh, Davao. Uh, I'm only a humble citizen from Olongopo City, uh, and that's fine with me. You can call me Olongopo City or even Barangay West Bahak Bahak Olongopo City. Pare pareho naman utang, Senator. And thank you very much, Senator Bato. I salute you for your loyalty to a fellow PMA Academy, pero okay pa rin kayo sa akin. Hindi ako nagagalit sa ito. Natutuwa ako dahil, alam nyo, ganyan talaga tayo gali natin, pagkakasama natin. Siyempre, Tungkulin rin natin pagtanggol siya. Hindi ko kayo sinisisi doon. Ang gusto ko lang yung institution natin maproteksyonan. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Again, I salute all gentlemen and ladies who stood up today uh, on this matter of enforcement of law, on the matter of the smuggling uh, that is killing our farmers. Thank you so much, Mr. President and dear colleagues. All right, Majority Thank Leader. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Uh, I move that the...